Here we've got some honey mushrooms or Armorelia luteo bababolina. Bit of a tongue twister. Um, looks like a casuarina log. Um, is it a bigger cap? The distinctive kind of yellowy, goldy, bronze sort of marking in the middle. Um, you still see the ring on the stem. And yeah, let's have a look at this one. You can see the, the gills attached to the stem and then run down the stem uh, towards the ring and sort of fade in. And the yeah, there's the lines on the um, inner side of the or the top side of the ring too. And the bottom of the stem is a bit like a cucumber. You know, if you pick a young cucumber, a little bit prickly. Um, yeah, in appearance it's not really spiky or anything like that. The stem is quite fibrous. Have a look, and it's usually just the caps that are eaten. Um, yeah, it's not going to snap. It's pretty tough. And nearby, just here, some. Um, native spinach, warrigal greens and there's almost a little side dish there you see the leaves get a reasonable size they just need a, a blanch the honey mushrooms are quite bitter as is and I'm just gonna a little Um, yeah, it's kind of an after bitterness. You don't get it at first. Um, yeah, these need blanching. Um, so just chop them up, dunk them in boiling water for a minute drain them and then use them as you would normal mushroom and add to a little bit of butter and some salt or into a curry or whatever um, so these ones are a bit pale on the tops there that one's a bit Rusty. And they have a white spore colour. Um, and some younger ones. Armorellaria are notorious for taking on different forms and shapes. Um, you can see all the white spore powder that's been released here. So there you go, growing with the Warrigal Greens.